there's a gene that you were talking about for conversion for certain nutrients, etc. that I know also you're working on adding fun infotainment part of it is the <laughs> the caffeine, right? Yep. But it also does so much more. So the CYP1A2 gene, what are we going to learn about that? CYP1A2, as Kashif is kind of alluding to, we know this largely as a gene that helps process caffeine. So people are either going to be a fast metabolizer, meaning they can quickly go through their caffeine, they can quickly detoxify their caffeine, or they're going to be a slow metabolizer. There's someone that when they get that caffeine, the caffeine staying in the body for a lot longer because they're slow lower at getting rid of it. But what we also see, this is really linked to certain xenobiotics, right? So this will also help with detox of different xenobiotics. Meaning again, if you're a fast metabolizer, you're gonna get through that cleaning process a little bit quicker. And then, you know, if you're a slow metabolizer, you're gonna be unfortunately going through that process a little bit slower. And this also has a lot of impact towards estrogens as well. It is involved in some estrogen creation there. And so again, it's this, you know, you know, sometimes people are like, what is the better presentation? And in my mind, it's really, it's not better or worse. It's just different, right? If you're quick with getting rid of your caffeine, if you're quick with getting rid of your certain xenobiotics, right? You're also going to be a little bit quicker at making your estrogens to hydroxy specifically, not a lot compared to like 1A1, sub 1A1, but some. And then if you're on the slower side, you're going to be slower at creating those. So this gene is expanding several things. It's expanding that hormone map. Yeah. So we know this sort of the plumbing of hormones and where things yeah. go. And now there's another layer to look at, like the exit, right? Yeah. It's expanding the diet map in terms of processing certain things like caffeine. And yeah. we also see it processing drugs, but also nutraceuticals. So there's certain people that will say, hey, I took the supplement. I didn't feel anything, right? Some people say that I can't handle supplements. So now finally get that answer, which mm -hmm. is there is a pathway through which mm -hmm. nutraceuticals are processed. Mm -hmm. And yes, for some people, when you just follow the label, it might be too much. Yeah. And for some other people follow the label, it's not going to do much because you're a rapid mm -hmm. metabolizer.